to abuse animals. But some people who do abuse animals lie and say they didn't know it was against the law to hurt or treat animals in a wrong way. When I can treat animals in a wrong way, I mean using them in dog fights, hitting them, not feeding them, and sometimes companies who test my animals and don't care if it kills the animal. Then, some people are just plain old mean to animals. That is where the SPCA come in. They try to stop animal cruelty and prosecute the men and women who do it. They believe that dogs, cats and other animals should have better care. They should live in a loving environment. Or, if they're strays, at least get fed by kind people until the SPCA can give them a home. In New Zealand, we don't see animal cruelty every day, but that's because it's done behind closed doors, like dog fights and abusing animals. How can you help? If you see someone being mean to their dog as you're walking down the street, then think to yourself, do I really know what to say to that person? Well, be brave and say that that's called animal cruelty. If you keep hurting that animal, then you don't deserve it. An SPCA story of a man aged 19 who was sentenced in the Dunedin Strip Court to 12 months jail for killing an 18 month old male Jack Russell on February 2nd this year. The man was banned from owning the animal for 10 years. He admitted that he killed the dog named Diesel, owned by a friend. First, he tried to strangle it using a chain his hands and his feet. When the dog did not die after 30 minutes, he poured petrol down its throat, stuffed a pillowcase down its throat, and finally hit it with a spade. The impact broke the dog's back and jaw, killing it. The man had to pay the SPCA $1,178 reparation. How would you feel if that happened to your people? I would feel like yelling at that person. Another story is of a family that found a five-week-old kitten bleeding on the side of the road in the pouring rain. They took it immediately yet to the vet who treated it for numerous cuts and a fractured neck. The vet believed it was either hit by a car or attacked by a dog. As a result, it needed a metal rod inserted into its neck. Leaving it on the road to die would have been animal cruelty. Now, seven years later, BJ is living a happy, healthy life with my nanny. And yes, 